Yeah, these guys here on Facebook. 25 bucks. I'm gonna clean the rust off them. They were pretty uh, pretty bad when I got them, so I said I better do something with them. And uh, I was happy with how they turned out. They turned into a pretty good uh, result at the end of it all. They were nice and clean, rust free. Got me all three piece wire brush set here. It's always a good idea to take the bulk of the rust off if you can, starting out. Makes it easier. So, you just scrub away at them. Takes a couple of minutes. You get a lot of dust off them, a lot of rust. This is probably where most of your work is actually done. See all the rust that comes off them. It's quite quite an amount. Anyway, and you want to get yourself a little basin, put some water in it, get some citric acid, pour the citric acid in, give it a good stir around. And then uh, just put your uh, put your taps and dies in there, and just leave them. This is sped up at like twenty times. You can see the color changing. So I turned the camera off, and I kind of forgot about it. And I came back a couple of days later, and this is what I found. So something definitely came off the off them and went into the water. So, when I found the time, I got back at it, took them out, and uh, started uh, cleaning them up again, I guess. So, I end up hitting them with the uh, the wire brush again, just to get the kind of whatever dirt and oil and grit and grease and stuff had been loosened up by the citric acid. And the citric acid solution is pretty, uh, pretty minging, just be safe when you're putting this away. And then yeah, just give them a little scrub again, same as before. Just this time they have oil and stuff that's more easier to remove. So you're just getting into every little nook and cranny, giving them a good, a uh, good loosening up. And your hands get pretty oily. It's a good idea to wear gloves. And yeah, so this is just regular regular water now. I'm putting them into it just to give them another bit of a bit of a bath. Another bit of a scrub in the water then just to get them get them get all that dirt off it. You don't want the dirt sitting on them still. Yeah, then just scrub away, scrub, scrub, scrub. And you can see all the dirt in that water. That water was clear a second ago. That's all oil and stuff that was on those taps and dies for years and years and years sitting in someone's garage somewhere. And then just to be sure that they were clean, I gave them one more go again with just a fresh fresh tub of water, just to give them one last little scrub to make sure that there was everything that, that I could do was, was done to get all the dirt off them. And just another little light scrub with the wire brush. Easy peasy. Take him out. You can see him here. They look even shiny and all the rust is gone basically. And then, uh, yeah, just give him a little dry off with a bit of a paper towel. Get all the water off him. Any little bits of crud that are still left on him. And then yeah, here's the final product. I was very happy with the results, I have to say. They were nice and uh, nice and clean. All the rust was gone. 
they were in good condition overall they just weren't taken care of I guess like they were still uh, nice and sharp when you put your finger to them there was no uh, hint that they were gone blunt or overused or anything like that they were they were really good shape in comparison to the to the other one it was you know night and day brand new Yeah, so just, uh, you know, if you see something that looks rusty, it doesn't mean it can't be fixed up. Change it around, make it brand new again. Um, information control, folks, is mind control. Need I say more? What you hear and what you see is all you have to base your decisions upon. We're being brainwashed.